Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to episode number two of the Crystal Crawford Show. This episode's called Just Start for Fuck's Sakes. I am gonna take a mini break. I'm going over to Facebook. I'm gonna refresh because I'm also doing a Facebook Live when I do these. Because why do something just one way when you can do it two ways is my point of view. So if you are joining me audio now or in the future, welcome. I'm so glad to see you. Pardon me while I share this to my personal page. You know, like we're in a technological age, like we should use all technology to our advantage. We're live now, woo! All right, so, hi guys. Uh, I can see you live on Facebook. If you wanna call in and have your question answered on the show, you can. Um, your call in number is 914-338-1573. Um, but anyway, you can find me on Facebook or on Blog Talk. Welcome. Enough chit chat about the show. Let's have the show. I love this week's topic. I chose it, so I must love it. Um, super excited that you guys are here. <laughs> hi, Jen. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Wendy. Um, this is probably one of my favorite things to talk about because it's probably one of the things that I choose myself a lot. Um, so just start for fuck's sake. I, I, there's so many times in so many of my classes, whether I'm doing an energy pull or I'm doing a facilitation call or I'm doing coaching where, you know, I get that whole thing of like, yeah, but I don't know where to start. And, um, and I've never known where to start. So it's like, I love riffing on this. Um, and the thing about not knowing where to start is that you never know where to start with anything. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter if it's business. It doesn't matter if it's a relationship. It doesn't matter if it's a life. You never know where to start. Um, you just start. And the thing that gets all the creative juices flowing is, is just choosing. That could actually be the end of the radio show. You're welcome. <laughs> Where do I go from here? Just do it. Um, <laughs> so I actually created this show um, right in the beginning of starting this radio show. Hey, Susan. Um, because I was really getting stuck over starting a radio show. I mean, this reality, the world tells you that to do anything, like to to start a business or to start a business, to start a business especially, or to have a relationship or whatever, there's like one way to do it. And you guys all know, I mean, I, I see who's live with me now. Like if you're in access consciousness, like we talk all the time about there is no just one way to do it. Hey, Cindy. Um, Hey, if you guys want other people to join us, share it. Share the video, share the love. So, the way to start a radio show, I'm going to give you the steps in a few words, is to find a platform that does a radio show, sign up for an account, hi Christina, and start the show. That's it. The way to start an online business is to choose that you want to have an online business, choose something that you want to put out in the world, start making some sort of video or something that gets you noticed because that's how you get noticed in an online world is you do stuff that gets you noticed and then put out a way for people to pay you and then invite people to do that. That's how you start an online business. Now, there's a lot of people, especially online business world especially, <laughs> thanks Christina, um, that will tell you that there are better ways to do things than other ways. There's ways that get you results and ways that don't get you results. But I will tell you, like even um, Russell Brunson is a multi, multi, multi millionaire um, online entrepreneur. And I've been watching some of his stuff because I've been looking into ClickFunnels because, you know, apparently ClickFunnels does funnels. And so funnels is a better way of doing online business and everybody's saying so. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go check this out and just see what that creates for me. So I've been checking him out. And it's really interesting because Russell Brunson is this like, a full of life, charismatic, larger than life personality that um, is incredibly successful now. But Russell Brunson started out in the online business world with, he created a potato gun. Now I wasn't raised in Iowa either in the States, I was raised in Colorado, but even I haven't heard of a potato gun, but apparently it's a gun made of potatoes or shoots potatoes. I don't even know what this gun does but apparently it was a big thing in Iowa. And so he created this DVD. Results. He played with choosing and he played with creating. 
And that's exactly how he discovered what worked for him and what didn't work for him. And hey, if you're on the Facebook Live um, feed, sorry about the bad internet, but um, you can also catch the replay on my radio stuff. So I love that because the guys that are actually selling the formulas and the strategies are the guys that had to do choice creating awareness, the guys that had to go out there and play with something to see what it created. And now they're the ones out there telling us that if, they, if we play with these same things, we're, we're going to get the same results. But that's not actually necessarily true. And um, as soon as you cut off your own awareness of what's light for you and what's heavy for you, and you start trying to do all of these different formulas and things, that's when you actually cut yourself off at the knees, and you cut your business off at the knees, and you cut your life off at the knees. And you, don't now, you now no longer have the potency that is you and your awareness and what you know that has no explanation or cognition to it. Um, and you're now you're putting yourself at the effect of somebody else's set of ideas that they got through choice creating awareness. So this is the thing about just starting, is that choice creates awareness. So if you're stopping yourself from starting anything because you're trying to get it right, you're actually cutting yourself off from the one thing that's going to give you the awareness about what you can choose next. And this is where it gets into this crazy cycle of like, hey, if you're, if you're not starting because you've decided something, stop it. Stop not starting. Like, start. Um, gosh, this radio show is such a great example of that. But, like, I mean, I've made this into such a big thing over the years. You know, like, it's, it's the, this thing has been pinging me for a year and a half. And I'm like, so, I've, I mean, I've looked into it over the years. You know, I looked into doing it this way, and I looked into doing it that way, and I looked at Voice America, and I looked at ins Inspired Networks, and all this stuff. And, um, and I was like, okay, so do I hire somebody to launch my radio show so that it gets lots of listens in the beginning? And, like, I looked at all these different ways that people have done it. And in reality, what I didn't look at until a couple weeks ago was like, hey, how does creation work in my world? How do things work for me? And one of the things that I know about me is that when I'm willing to just, well, what, the, the biggest thing I know about me is that I'm not at like a dip my big toe in to see how the water is. I'm like a dive in to see, I have to dive into things to see how they work. Like we, we have a pool in the backyard and it's awesome. Um, but we've just recently started like the pump running and the heater going and we weren't really sure how that was all working, but apparently it was working. So there was one day where the heater had been on for all, about 24 hours and we needed to get in there and see how the pool was, you know? And so I dipped my foot in and I'm like, it's okay. But somebody else had touched it and it was like, they were like, it's warm. So I'm like, well, the only way I'm going to find out if the pool is warm or not is if I dive in, because if I just get my calves in, then I'm going to think it's cold. But if I dive in, then I'm like, I'm in it. So then I can choose and, and become aware of the temperature then. Well, I dove in and it was fucking freezing. <laughs> it was not warm. And so I had about a, a 10 second swim to the other side where I jumped out and then I jumped into a cold shower. Um, and then the other day it was apparently warmer and people were in the pool saying it was warmer. And I was like, well, the only way I'm going to find out is if I dive in. So I dove in and it was warmer that time. But like, that's the thing, I guess that's the way I live my life. And that's the energy that I want to invite you to of like, you know, there's no way you're going to be able to figure out how to do an online business before you just start doing online business. You're not going to be able to have the awareness of a choice before you actually just choose it. And, um, you know, here's how my online business was created. I started working for someone else in their facilitator business. And so I started sort of hosting and co-creating video stuff with her. So I started like cracking the seal on that. And then one day I just wanted to create more. And, and I started posting on Facebook and started posting like, um, you know, stories about my growth and then a tool at the end. And so contributing to people. So I started getting more of a following that way. Um, but I, I, I didn't go into posting on Facebook or creating visibility on Facebook to create visibility. I just started being myself out loud on Facebook. And so that started creating visibility. And, um, so at one point it just got to this point where I was like, I just wanted to create more, like I wanted more and I didn't know how to do it. Um, I'd just seen other people create stuff online and people paid them for it. So I was like, well, what would happen if I created something that people could pay me for? And I, so I did. I created a graphic and I created the infrastructure behind the scenes that, so that people could pay me. And I think on my first telecall, I had like six paying people and one person showed up. And we had basically a radio show for a call. Like there was no facilitation. Um, but it broke the seal. 
And then I, I did it again. And so, but at that point, I was sort of like in fits and starts, right? Like I would create a little bit, and then I would stop. And then I would create a little bit, and then I would stop. And then, you know, last year, I think it was last year, maybe almost two years ago now, I came home from a maestro class. I was totally broke, up to my nose. Um, I had maxed out my credit. I had no cash. I quit my job. And I was living with this new guy who had the opinion when he got with me that I had a lot of money and I rolled into Vancouver, I had no money, no nothing, no job. And I spent about three weeks feeling super pathetic and like I was at the effect of my no job and I couldn't do it and I was really pathetic. And he finally looked at me one day and he just looked it straight at me and he's like, I need you to be the woman that I met when we first met. I need you to be that woman. That woman had the world by the tail. That woman was going places. I need you to be her. And I looked straight at him, and that was one of the best gifts he gave me. The rest of the, almost everything else he gave me was all judgment, which was also a gift. And I just looked straight at him, and I was like, okay. And I just started creating with no point of view about who showed up, about who came to pay me or play with me or anything. And within about a very short time, like a week, I had my first $900 from online stuff. And that was through creating a free group. Um, here, was, here was how this started. I didn't know where I was going to get the money from. I didn't know who was going to pay me. All I knew is that I had the capacity to create. I knew how to create stuff online. And in that 10 seconds, I wanted to play with interesting point of view. Those are the three pieces of information I had. Okay, I have some capacity. I know I want to play with a tool. I require money, but I don't know how that's going to show up. So let's just start. So I, I created a one graphic that was a worldwide interesting point of view challenge. I created a Facebook group and I invited whoever wanted to come play to play for three days with interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Well, it just exploded. Like people just like popped in all over the place. This group was just vibrant. Everybody was playing with this tool. Everybody was posting pictures and videos and it was so fun. And then at the end of three days, I had no idea what to do next. <laughs> like, I didn't even have the question in my head of like, how do you monetize this? It was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then somebody said, one of my friends said, hey, Crystal, we'd love to pay you for playing in this group. And I was like, you would? <laughs> it was so beyond my reality. So I was like, okay, well, I could create some ways for people to pay me for playing in this group. So I made some stuff up. I'm like, well, if you want to pay for one month, it's this much money. If you want to pay for two months, it's this much money. If you want to pay for three. Anyway, I think I had, I had like, I don't know, 20 people sign up for like a month at $35 or something. And I created my first 900 bucks. <laughs> And when that money came in, I was like, holy fuck. Like, I didn't know what was possible until I just chose. And then, thank God, the universe has my back and somebody contributed an idea and I, I followed through on it and I created this way for people to pay me. And all of a sudden, bam, I had an online business. Just like that. Now, you have no idea, or maybe you do, how many groups I get into on Facebook that are like all these people that follow ClickFunnels or all these people that follow Kajabi or, you know, these product, um, these big websites that assist and create the platform for online business creators to have a business, um, have these Facebook groups. And there are so many people in those groups who never make one dollar off of what they do online. And I've looked at that for a while and I'm like, how is that even possible? And when I look at the energy in their world, I'm like, gosh, you know, they're, tr they're trying to do what they're told exactly in the way that they're told and it's not working. So then they're blaming this thing on it not working. But I'm like, I wonder what would change for all of us and all these people if we were actually willing to function from our awareness and our capacity for choice and creation and question in a way that we can't even really explain to anybody else, but just seems to create something. And I can't tell you how many humanoid people that I talk to, and if you're listening to this and you've got any sort of curiosity in your world, you're probably a humanoid. How many people I talk to that when they drop the rock of what everybody else has told them is going to work, and they start to function from their own, like, well, I don't know the right thing to do, but the thing that's pinging me is blah, blah, blah. And they start to follow that. Things create as if by magic. According to this reality, that should not be so. But that is definitely so. It's like what Gary Douglas says in the bars video. He's like, I ran this woman's bars. She was wearing a watch. Her watch ran backwards for the rest of the time I knew her. 
shouldn't occur, but it did. I got my bars run. I had I went into the bar session. I had um, penguin feet or something, or I came out and my feet were turned out or something. His feet were this way when he went into the bar session. He got his bars run, and his feet after the bar session were like this. He's like, shouldn't occur, but did. And that's the thing about when we're really willing to function from our awareness, we tap into all these different universes of possibility and universes of capability with molecules, with energies, with quantum entanglements, with, um, with time not actually being real. So we tap into all of our awareness of like all the past wisdom and awareness and all the future wisdom and awareness. And it's not something you can box into a box set and sell somebody as a business formula. It's something that just occurs as we're willing to function from our awareness and choice and question and, and possibility and contribution. So when I say just start, I mean it. I'm like, just start anywhere. Start with creating that class that's pinging you. It doesn't even matter if anybody shows up at that point because that very process of creating that class is going to give you awareness. The very process of creating the graphic, the very process of putting it on the books, the very process of making sure you have a venue, all of those steps are going to create awareness. The end result is not relevant. The end result of people showing up is not relevant. The end result, the end result is not relevant. You can't control the end result anyway. The only thing you can control is you and being present in every moment and choosing and choosing again and choosing again. And part of choice in this whole process, as you're choosing forward, as you're creating your life, as you're creating your business, part of choice are the choices that come in the 10 seconds where you choose to make yourself wrong or you choose judgment or you choose conclusion or you choose decision because it's in those 10 seconds that you have to like, you have to be, you burst my bubble. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Cause it's in those moments that you have choice as well. I'm, my English is like getting out of order with this whole conversation, but I'm like, you have just as much choice in those, you have choice with everything, right? You have choice with whether or not you go to conclusion about who's showing up to your bars class. You have choice with what you're going to choose to do. You have choice with what you're going to be. And you also have choice in here and you can choose to get carried away with doubt and confusion and worry and stress. That's a choice just as much as choosing another tool is a choice. And my favorite go-to tool for doubt and frustration and any sort of feeling is, gosh, interesting point of view, I have this point of view. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that anybody should show up to my bars class. Any interesting point of view, I have the point of view that this class is gonna pay for this class. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that when I put this out, they will come and if they don't come, that means something about me. Interesting point of view, I have the point of view that any of this is true, choice, is to create awareness. Choice isn't to create people in your bars class. Choice isn't to create people that come play with you in your business programs. Choice is to create awareness. And every choice creates awareness. So the choice to create anything is gonna create awareness. It may not necessarily create people watching your videos yet. It may not necessarily create people listening to your radio show yet, but it's gonna create awareness and it's gonna create a greater future. And when you look at a set of choices and you go, okay, what if, is this choice gonna Create or decay my future? Truth. Create. Okay, I'll choose it. Why? Is, it, is the why because people are going to show up at your bars class? Or is it just that it's going to create your future? See, when you ask a question like that and you get that a choice is going to create or decay your future and you get that it's going to create it, that doesn't mean anything. All it means is it's going to create your future. So when we assign meaning to a choice or if I choose this, then this, then we're all of a sudden limiting anything and everything that can actually show up. You may choose to create a bars class because it's light and all of that process gets you to a space where you are actually more willing to commit to your life and then you choose again and that next choice creates something greater and that next choice creates something greater. Like You don't know why you're choosing things when you choose them. You just know that they're light, that they're pinging you and they're going to create a greater future. And if you go to any sort of conclusion about any of your choices, you're actually killing what's possible to create with that choice. So one of the tools that I use a lot is all of the decisions, judgments, computations, and conclusions about this, I destroy and uncreate them. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. All my decisions, all my judgments, all my conclusions, all my computations, I destroy and uncreate those. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. And all of my projections, all of my expectations, all of my separations, all my judgments, all my rejections, 
I destroy it and create all those, right? Wrong, good, bad, pot, pot, call, name, choice, believe in the ends. Um, because projections and expectations of anything, so of any choice, so let's just say I have the projection and the expectation that this radio show is going to create me a million dollars this year. I guess it could in some weird way. But if I have that projection and expectation of the radio show, I will start this radio show if it creates and you don't have any idea how, um, then start it and destroy and uncreate all your projections and your expectations because projections and expectations lead to separation, judgment, and rejection. So if you have projections and expectations, you have to separate from yourself, you have to judge yourself, and you have to reject yourself. That's not that fun, although a lot of us do it a lot, so it must be sort of fun. So what else is possible with just starting? What else is possible with starting with no projections and expectations? And just starting for the joy of starting. It's like, you know, I, I, I've told this story a couple of times recently, but like in this past February, very recently actually, I had created myself to a very low cash flow point. And I was doing that thing that I do sometimes, which hope, thank God is changing. <laughs> But I was going straight into pathetic and like, oh my God, I can't, and this house is like sucking the life out of me, and it's not contributing to me, and it's the entities, and I was doing all kinds of weird shit. And finally, I just woke up one morning, and I'm like, this fucking changes right now. I don't care what I have to do, if I have to wait tables, clean my own house and get paid for it, uh, clean cars, sweep the streets, I don't care what I have to do, this is changing. And I started messaging everybody that I knew, and I'm like, hey, I'm for hire. I do all this cool stuff with graphics and websites and landing pages. If you need any of that, just let me know. And what that did is I did get some work, and I did create some money. And it, but, but more than that, that willingness to be that generative energy for me that just started, even though I didn't know where to start and I was just frustrated with everything that was showing up, I just started with the very first thing that came to me. And I just started messaging everybody and reaching out and going, hey, if you need help, I'm for hire. And... It broke the seal of the not starting at all. It broke the seal of the pathetic. It broke the seal. And so I ended up creating some money. But more than that, I ended up generating in my world this generative energy of like, oh my gosh, I am here. I am present. I can do this. I have my own back. Like, let's do this. And that energy, that, that energy is the thing that's actually going to propel your future forward. Not this one particular creation. And when you're willing to be that energy for yourself and just create and keep creating and keep creating and keep creating, like if you've only got, I keep using birth classes, but I, I happen to know a lot of your birth facilitators. You're welcome. Um, if you only have one birth class on the books for this month and you are putting all your eggs in one basket over that one class, you are killing your future. You can't do that to yourself because it doesn't work like that. You can't project and expect that one creation is going to solve your problems. You are the source of creation. You are the source. So how many different creations do you need to have on the go to keep yourself busy, to keep that generative energy in your world? Like, What is it going to take for you to, have, to be that in the world? To be so that Because that's, that's the energy that you be that invites people to play with you. Not the fact that you put up, a, put up a graphic and you put up a thing and um, what the energy that you be is what invites people to play with you. And so this just start for fuck's sakes is like start anything because you start anything and you're going to break the seal and that energy is going to be rolling through your world and you're going to be being something different in the world and you're gonna, everything you do is going to be a different energy. It's no longer going to be this needy, oh my God, I need you to show up because if you don't show up, I won't be able to go to this other class and I need this money for rent this month not going to be that energy. It's going to be this different energy of like, hey, I'm creating in the world and I don't know what any of this is going to create, but I'm going to put it here and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to try this and I'm going to play with this and I'm going to try this and play with it this way. And right, that energy is such an invitation. And that's what we talk about. When we talk about being the invitation, we're not talking about do your graphic correctly and make sure you post your class in the right place and do this funnel. It's like, no, you being that energy in the world is the invitation. And so with you choosing not to create there's no invitation there even to you. And that's what I got even in, fe in February when, I, when this whole thing, sh when I shifted that for myself, was like, I don't even like being around myself right now. I'm a pain in the ass right now. Like, it's not even fun to be by myself with me in my room. And I normally like that. So what do I have to do to actually make it fun to be me right now? And it's like, oh, I just got to start some shit. I just got to start some shit anywhere. 
I was like, it wasn't working in that 10 seconds to create the telecalls I wanted to create. It just wasn't creating. I wasn't having a good time. So I'm like, okay, so what else can I choose? What else am I capable of? All right, I got these other skills. Let's just use those and see what that creates. Let's use these and see what that creates. How much work can I create for myself like that with total ease? With no point of view about if whether or not I'm too good for it or whether or not I should or shouldn't be doing it. or And... So that just applies to everything. It applies to everything. It applies to starting anything, anything. It applies to breaking the seal on a slump. It applies to starting a business. It applies to starting anything, the creation of your life, the creation of your body. You just have to start. And once you start, creation begets creation. That generative energy is gonna thrum through your world and you're gonna get more ideas and have more energy for creation. And that's it. Just start <sighs> so that's it for today that's all i got thank you guys for being live i'm very grateful and um i don't know what next week's going to be about yet but we'll find out i'm going to just start it i'm going to pick a topic that sounds fun and i'm going to write a thing and then i'm going to post it and then i'm going to show up and then we're going to see what shows up and that's creation in a nutshell hey what wants to be this week pick a topic write some words down show up Respond to whatever shows up with you and just be present. That's the creation of a life in a business. Cool. So if you like this, give it a share. And otherwise, I adore you guys. I will see you next week.